One way outbound teams like to take advantage of personalization at scale is to import their leads via a CSV. Now that means you don't have to import data one by one, you don't have to do things manually, and it means you can personalize your messaging to increase the probability that you get a positive reply. So that's what we're gonna look at today, how to import those CSVs into Lemlist, and this is how you can do it. So the end goal is to have a campaign that looks something like this. You have multiple different people. You may recognize some of the names on here. They're all led by a team. And you'll see that data points such as first name and also this word here, the software that's being used, all changes as well as the color here. So I've written an, an example campaign, but you can see all the data fills in and changes for each different person. Here you can see this value here changes and you can also see the domain changes every time I click and all of that was done automatically. So you don't have to go one by one and change every single time. You'll also see here the LinkedIn um, request that you can automate. You can automate this LinkedIn message within your campaign, which is about 40% effective at generating replies, by the way, 40% higher. Here you can see that that changes as well. So why does it change? Well, when we're writing the sequence here, we have our automated emails and automated LinkedIn steps. What we've done is we've written it so that the messaging here will go, will take the information that we've input from the CSV based on this custom variable. So you can see monthly spend, you can see, hey, first name, so you're currently using this software and that translates to when you're ready to send, insert first name, insert software, nice and clean. How do you do that? Well, what you need to do is come here and look for, you create a CSV file. So how do you do that? The most important part here is you make sure that the first row is lining up with the information below it. So a good example of that here is first name, lines up with the first name and so on. That's because when you import the data, it needs to correlate to what you want it to. Pretty simple. And you can import data such as domain. You can import simple text such as uh, favorite color, just an example I used, as well as software, which might be more, more relevant. And you can also do data like uh, numerical values or monetary values. Doesn't matter as long as you have it set up in this format. Once you've done that, you come here, you click download, you click CSV. There you go, it's downloaded with all the other tests that I've done. And then you come to your campaign. So here you create a new campaign, create manually. You import the lead list here by clicking CSV, upload, and then you click the latest one that you've just done. Click continue. And then here is where we make sure the variables line up. So this is why it's important to have the correct variable in line one, row one, I should say, so that you can make sure that inside Lemlist, it will um, it will search for that data that you're importing. First name, we want it to find first name. So that one's already good. LinkedIn URL, we can choose one of the quick options here. LinkedIn URL, nice and easy. Email's already done for us. Domain, so something.com, something.co. We want to put as company domain and we're good to go. Last name is already done for us. That's nice and easy. You can see my last name, Kevin's last name. And here is where we don't have a quick option because like obviously not every campaign, just for the test campaign, I've done some, some random examples. Here you can leave it as custom variable. And this is what we'll search for when we're writing our emails. And I'll show you what that looks like in a second. So leave, 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 continue. And here is where you can actually, if you wanted to, you can enrich the data to about 80% accuracy from within Lemlist, as well as verifying the information. So a double one here for this example, I'll do another video about that. I'll put the link in the description. Here you can do no enrichment. And then here you make sure there's no duplicates within Lemlist. So you don't keep prospecting the same person over and over. And then you click import. And here you go, here you have your information. If I click on myself here, first name, yes. Last name, yes, email. We have favorite color, monthly spend, and software used. Now, why do we have that? It's because this is exactly what we had from our CSV file. And what does it look like in the end? Well, if you look here, so in the sequence, you have software used, saw you're currently using, insert software used. We host a podcast discussing the latest tech solutions exclusively for people who love the color, insert favorite color, would you be interested, and so on. And that in the review section looks like this. Hey, let's just use me as an example. Hey, tell. So you're currently using Lemlist. We host a podcast discussing the latest tech solutions exclusively for people who love the color blue. Obviously, you don't use that in your own campaigns, but the point here is you can import any different data that you would like. As long as you arrange it like this, Lemlist will do the rest. That's how you can import a CSV. That's how you can start to personalize at scale to get more positive replies.